Hello, math community. I'm Billy Graff from the Federal University of Rio Grande in Brazil, and today I'm going to be talking about sport mega events. Okay, the first issue we are going to be talking about is what sport mega events are. So, sport mega events have been better understood as large scale cultural and commercial events, which means that they are not only interesting from a point of view of the, the, the cultural aspects, but also as a commercial enterprise. They also have this uh, dramatic character, which means that when you go to a concert, for example, you know the musician, you know the song, but then when you go to a sport mag event or every uh, sport event, you don't know the unfolding. So you don't know who is going to be the champion and other things like that, and that adds in terms of dramacity to sport and mega events. And also they are very popular. They have this popular appeal and they involve the international audience, which means that sometimes some of the sport uh, events that we are used to refer as uh, big in composition don't show up in the international academic literature on sport mega events. And we are going to be taking a look at that specifically in the next few minutes as well. So, if you are interested in studying more about what sport mag events are, you might be interested in this paper of Miller from 2015. Don't worry, I'm going to be dropping a few uh, links towards the end of this presentation or in the description so you can find the papers we talk about today. But Miller says that there's a new order of sport events, giga events, even bigger than mega events. So, if you are interested, you can take a look at that. Also, it's important to register that mostly FIFA men's World Cup final, football World Cup, soccer World Cup for you, and the Olympics are more, more uh, commonly uh, referred as sport mag events in the literature. And then maybe for you in North America, it's going to be a surprise to see that, for example, the Super Bowl is not related as a sport mag event in most of the literature on sport mag events, especially in the sociology of sport. And that can be a very uh, important topic for you to explore in the future. Why isn't the Super Bowl considered a sport mag event? Now let's take a look at how sport mag events have been studied in the past. Some of the themes that seem to be most important for sport mag event studies, but also for the sociology of sport, is the media, so how the media participate in sport mag events, not only transmitting or broadcasting games, but also as an actor which is interested in uh, the commercial aspect of the game as well. Uh, also the budget, where the money comes from, how is it spent, who profits from the games, has been a particular interesting topic for the sociology of sport and the sport mag event studies. The commercialization of sport mag events or how sport mag events are integrated to global capitalism, new liberal policies, and so on. Also, sport mag events have a huge impact in the cities where they take place. So they promote a lot of changes. A lot of people tend to be uh, dislocated and sometimes even in not the most many times not in the most kind way, so that's important for us as well. And also, uh, uh, sport bag events have been used as an arena for many issues, so many issues that cannot be discussed in different arenas uh, end up being discussed in the sports arena. For example, now we have a lot of academics and scholars uh, studying how sport mag events have been used in the international community arena. Uh, as part of the soft power of the countries, or the power that does not come for money and armies. So uh, apparently some countries have been using sport mag events as a tool to uh, show their uh, countries internationally, and that has been discussed and uh, apparently is important for sport mag events. And also we are all interested in learning more about the, this global south tour that sport mag events have been taking uh, since the beginning of this century. Other features that are important 
in relation to how spot mag events have been studied relate to the fact that most of the early research and a lot of research being uh, done these days uh, rely on ex ante studies, which mean, means that they rely on studies that happen before the spot bag events they refer to take place, and that can be considered dangerous and even detrimental for the research field for some. Also, there's been a trend uh, on the image projection or how countries use sport mag events to project or at least try and project uh, a certain or a given uh, image internationally. Uh, we are also very interested in the economic outcome. So are actually sport mag events lucrative? Can you see an increase in tourists in countries that host sport mag events, for example? Uh, since the end of the last century also, sport mag events have been involved in this narrative of legacies or things that stay in the place where the sport mag events took place. So that has been very important for the for sport mag event studies as well. And you may be willing to take a look at that. Uh, it's important to register as well that most of the research on sport mag events have, have been done um, through document analysis, which means that it's kind of a uh, indirect type of research or data collection. And that's why sometimes you see calls for my direct approaches to data collection in sport mag events, for example, observations and interviews. There's also a tendency for more ex post facto studies, which means uh, studies that take place after the sport mag events actually happen, uh, which means that then you can see the actual uh, consequences of a sport mag events, not only predictions, and also there's a, a important call for more uh, research on residents and locals, and especially on people directly affected by sport mag events, for example, people evicted or dislocated. And now, what are the most important issues associated with sport mag events for the sociology of sport? Many claim that the sociology of sport is important within sport mag event studies because it can see beyond numbers. Numbers are very important for the sociology in general and also for the sociology of sport, but then many claim that uh, we can see beyond numbers. We can explain and find different meanings because we can consider different populations, different standpoints. And it is also important uh, to register that there is a call for more public sociology in general, but very specially in relation to the sociology of sport and also sport mag events, which means that uh, there is a room for more social justice uh, associated type of research within sport mag events, especially uh, in relation to the population of the countries and cities where sport mag events have been taking place uh, lately at the beginning of the century, and also for the less fortunate population that are affected by sport mag events, even in rich countries of the global north. Finally, let's take a look at the contemporary challenges of the sociological study of sport mag events. Nothing actually new here. We have saw some of a few of, of these issues, but it is important to stress uh, that is quite relevant for the field now to know more about things as this Global South tour that Spot Mag events have been taking. So you're going to see Spot Mag events in places like Beijing, uh, Rio, South Africa, Brazil, Qatar. And we actually need to know more about how it happened, why it happened, and other processes that are associated with these uh, editions of Spot Mag events that took place in the Global South. Also, uh, many could claim that because of that, we have an increase in uh, human issues, uh, human rights issues related to sport mag events lately. So we need to understand better what's going on. For example, FIFA and the IOC now have a chapter related to the whole selection, especially dedicated to human rights. They have boards, advisory boards, and we need to study them, what they do, and if they actually uh, challenge the issues that are uh, present in the field nowadays. 
So we need to uh, know more about this whole selection process that has have changed a lot lately. For example, now it is possible for regions, not only city and countries, to bid for sport mag events. We also need to know how sport mag events are going to try and tackle gigantic. So sport mag events never stop growing, and that's a problem for them now because they barely can find places where they can fit, and they are trying to find ways to tackle this. We can study that. And also things related to integrity in sport. For example, we all know that uh, some time ago, there's a very interesting uh, documentary on Netflix. By the way, I'm going to try and drop the title in the description of this video. But um, we all know, want to know what, what's going to be happening to Russia and other countries related to the doping scandal that took place some time ago. And doping is a very important topic for the research on sport mag events as well. Maybe the sociology sport can take a look at that uh, systematically as well. And of course, we all are very curious to learn how sport mag events are going to be uh, happening after the pandemic. We all know that Tokyo 2020 has been postponed and has been facing a lot of challenges in order to try and actually happen in 2021. But what's going to be the con consequence of the pandemic for the FIFA World Cup and also for the other Olympics that come after uh, Tokyo 2020 or 2021. Many of the topics that I address today are present in my new book uh, uh, released a few months ago. And if you want to know more, then maybe you can try and find the book. It's not difficult. I hope you enjoy it. OK, NAS community, thank you for the opportunity. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and if you want to get in touch with me, I'm going to drop my email here at the description. Just send me a message, and then we go from there. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.